striker. Looks cool. Extended season RVing. Oof. Not a good sign. <laughs> Boy. Yep, can't get back there. I thought it was probably a toy hauler or something, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna reach through with my arm and give you guys a look. So you can see back there. I can't. But I can get my arm in there. Ooh, look, I see some kicker competitions up there on the wall. This thing's a banger, huh? Oh, is that a is there some kind of vehicle back there? <sighs> Sorry, I had to stop the video and see what it was. It's a chair. A recliner. I'm guessing this is the bathroom, right? Nice. It's been winterized. You like to see that. Nice shower. This is a really nice damn RV. Someone's going to really pay a lot of money for this. And to see all of the conveniences and stuff here. That's what's up. King size bed. Like this thing is like... I wonder if this thing was brand new. And somebody screwed up. LCD TV mountain bracket location. Okay. Yeah, that, like this looks like it was a an unfinished project, maybe. Huh. Well, they just it was so new they kept the tags on everything. Fire extinguisher on deck. Let's walk around to the rear and see if we can get in on the back side. Structural warranty for three years, it says, huh? Big old slide outs. This thing would be a nice, a hell of a nice RV, man. And I know somebody tried to correct me. They were like, last I checked, the pull behinds were called travel trailers, and the ones with engines were called RVs. Look, man, this shit is a recreational vehicle. You can call it whatever you want. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And for the trolls, they'd be like, da da da. Look, man, I don't call your mom anything else when I'm getting into it sideways. Just call it your mom. You know what I'm saying? If you want me to call it something else, I can do that. I know some of y'all are going to be like, damn, TK, that's foul. All right, so here's the back part. So, yeah, it is kind of like a toy hauler. You ain't getting nothing super big in here. You can get some bikes, like a couple motorcycles in here for sure. Got the chairs. So, yeah, man, this is a nice, you know, you can go to bike week and not get your stuff stolen. I really don't know why this is here. Fan right there on the ceiling. I really wonder why it's here. Speakers on the outside. This is nice, man. This is really nice. I wonder. I really do. Like, I'm legit wondering why the hell is it here. It's got an exhaust pipe. Is that? No. Yeah. So it's got a generator. That's locked. Okay. Solar on the side. Portable solar kit. No crap, huh? Gas lines. Cable and satellite. Cool. Big boy connection. City water connection. Like, this thing is nice, man. Everything's labeled the right way. I mean, it's like, it's literally like it's brand new. <laughs> I like this. Maximum load capacity, 250 pounds. So you're telling me I could possibly, maybe, fit on that? I know y'all go like, TK, you ain't no 250. Stop it. <laughs> All right, man. Oh, what's up with this one right here? It's a connect. All right, whatever that is. Looks like it's got two. Oof, that's a toy hauler, I think, too, huh? No. This has a weird step. Stove and everything is at the rear. Let's see if the front's as bad as the back. These almost look like they were brand new. I wonder if they got hail damaged or something in a storm and they never sold them because this damn thing looks like it's brand new. See, now this is something I would want to pull behind the Ram, right? 
this is what's up and then this folds up huh oh wow no it's storage okay so you got room to put a big bed you got storage uh oh what'd I do I gotta get it from the middle. My bad. Woo! <laughs> so you got room for a bed, which takes you into a. This is a big shower for such a little RV. No BS. Look at that. That's a big boy. Like, I could just fit in there. I'm good. I mean, my head might be all in the skylight, but this is not bad, man. I like this. This is like a little. Oh, see, there's the slide out. But you got a fireplace. Man, this is the traveling buns magnet, man. I'm telling you right now. Look at this. It's big look at a big refrigerator too. Big boy refrigerator. Look at this. Man. Alright. I really don't want to overspend on an RV, but I also don't want to buy one at retail. If I'm keeping it honest. And I'm looking for just a little one. There's only two of us if we're going around somewhere, you know what I'm saying? So, this could do it. And the, and I guarantee you the Ram will pull this all day, no problem. Look, it's even got the hookups, everything's still here. These are the stuff I'm talking about, like some of these little modules, some of these little things. People steal them, and then they're gone. But it looks like everything's here. Yep, battery connections are here. Hell yeah, man. This one right here could be a, a decent deal. All right, guys. This should satisfy y'all's craving for RV stuff for the week. The last item we're going to look at in today's video is... I don't even know if this is called a Class C. It might be too short for that. But maybe. It might be a Class C. But this little RV... <laughs> Y'all gonna be like, TK, stop antagonizing these trolls. Oh my god. Yeah, maybe this one was flood damage? <laughs> I'm guessing the damage was flood? <laughs> what the? What the hell? I gotta watch my step in here. Holy crap, yeah. It's got to be a flood. I don't see. Yeah, it is. It was a flood. I don't think anybody just tracked in this dirt. You know what I'm saying? This is this is like it was here and you can see where it dried and then it started to break up. Yeah, you can see the water line too. See it? You got to see that water line. All right there. Now, it did miss the fuse box, but not really. It goes lower than that. So this thing's probably got electrical issues for days. But, does not mean it is not savable. But damn, the fact that the water was this high. This high. Now think about this. This is not sitting on the ground. The ground is down there. The water was this high. It is a flood. For sure no no doubt in my mind about that and here's all the books for it now the question is we're not going to start it because it was a flood but i wonder if it has power at all it doesn't okay let's go open the driver's door i'm going to look at the engine compartment and see if the motor is waterlogged. But this one, even with the water damage, and I know y'all will probably say I'm crazy, not bad. Storage compartment full of mud. Yeah, I wonder what happened. They must have got stuck into something. Flash flood hit them or something. Had to be. But let's take a look at the engine compartment because this one right here could be a little diamond in the rough you can see there's the water line see the water line so it was up over these seats or well, it was right at the edge 
of those seats. You can see the water line right there. So let's look at the engine and see, you can see there's water in the headlights. So this thing got flooded, flooded. All right, does this have a stick? Cancel, Siri, nobody asked for you. I hate that. It's a vort. Cancel. All right. Yeah, you can see the mud is all the way up here. Look at the water line. It covered the entire engine. So I'm willing to bet, I'm willing to bet you that with all of this mud and stuff up here, if it was running, if the engine was running, it's done. If it wasn't running, maybe not. This one I might be able to look at without, because it doesn't look like it has screws. This looks like the air filter is right here. Because normally you can't, you're not allowed to take stuff apart. But I'm not here. Ah, that's dry. So you know what? This thing might have been parked and got hit with a flash flood. You know what I'm saying? That's my guess. That would be my guess. That would be my best guess. Buckle this all back up. So that air box is dry. So that would lead me to suspect that it was parked and it got flooded. Does that mean that water didn't get into the engine? No. Probably could have got into the transmission if it sat long enough in the water. But it's a gamble. It could be an expensive one, but it just depends on what you think people would be willing to spend on it and if you'd be willing to roll those dice someone's gonna mistake that <laughs> but there it is let me know what you guys think in the comments all right guys that's gonna do it for today's copart walk around major shout out to the entire staff and all of the people out here at the las vegas area copart locations i you know shout out to alex shout out to michelle um thank you guys very much for being the most hospitable guests ever um, I really appreciate it. Shout out to the whole team at corporate that allows me to go around and do what I do. And, um, yeah, stay tuned. Well, yeah.